<laughs> okay, so for the dance, what we're working on is we're going to be like preparing the dance, uh, finding the decorations, and making sure we stay in the budget the whole time. What's the theme for the dance this year? Um, it's going to be Winter Wonderland. Okay. What do you think the theme of is the dance? Pilgrim. <laughs> um, so it's going to give off like sleigh. Um, it's gonna be snowy, like winter themed. It's uh, not really Christmas themed, but just winter themed. Um, probably like, like fall or like something to do with like fall or something. What's the theme? Um, uh, probably like jungle. <laughs> I think people are most excited about if you have seventh grade friends. We have an overlap this year. The winter dance, so seventh grade and eighth grade will be together. For Bison Plus, this is Harbor Fox. Kaylee Jigena. Maggie Hopkins. Here are some interviews from the yearbook club. How did you do yearbook this year? Um, I wanted to make people proud of the yearbook when they look back on it. Well, right now we are finalizing the cover of the yearbook. This is Cameron and I. We are teaching 6th and 7th graders how to work the website for the yearbook. Um, and most recently students are being assigned pages, so we already have like over a thousand pictures um, saved and we're going to start putting those in the yearbook. What are you working on in yearbook? Right now we're trying to get like the we have the cover being made right now, we're gonna get the, we already have a theme picked out for it. Which I don't know if I can say yet, but we already have a theme, so we're gonna be working on that. What are you working on in your book right now? Um, nothing really, we're just waiting on assigning uh, pages. What are you working on right now? I'm an editor, but uh, we haven't really been assigned pages yet, but we're doing it next week for it we have created our cover so we have that ready to show you guys in May. What are you excited for your year? Probably just putting it together. What are you excited about your book? For? Photographing. Uh, to see everybody's reaction to the book at the end of the year. For Bison Plus, this is Harbor Hawks, Maggie Hopkins, and Kaylee Jagena. When do you predict the first snow day is going to be? Probably around November 30th. Why? Because that's the time when it starts getting like super cold. Somewhere in November or December. It's going to be December 28th. Might be next week. Um, probably sometime in November, probably like um, the, in the 20s, like 23rd or something like that. Um, December 5th. Actually, no, like January, sometime in there, like after we get back from Christmas break. December 23rd. It's probably going to be like January 10th. For Bison Plus, this is... Cadence Boyd, Harlow Wagner, and Abigail Bovey. It's time to wake up. Okay, Mom, coming. All right, buddy. So, what's good? Oh, what are those? I hear you. What are those? <laughs> Dude, my grandma has the same one. <laughs> Yo! You're not done with these slippers.
Oh my gosh. Two people in the same day is crazy. What are you wearing? Slippers don't look cool. They're pretty ugly if I do this on myself. They really hurt when you fall. Yep, really hurt. Don't wear them in school. From Bison Plus, this is Grant Johnson, Colin Arnold, David Kapranica, and MJ Emery. Today, basketball players are going to be telling you about their preview and what they think the season's going to go like. What position do you think you're going to be playing in basketball this year? Um, I think I'm going to play point guard or shooting guard. Play point guard. Either shooting guard or point guard. What do you think your record for your team's going to be? I think we're going to go undefeated. I think I'm going to go undefeated. We're probably going to win most of the games, but Campbell's going to be hard to beat. What school do you think is going to be the hardest to beat? I think the hardest school to beat is going to be Campbell. Probably Summit Lakes. I think Campbell because I know a lot of them and they're really good basketball players. I play a lot of AAU and there's like a really good school and I have really good coaching for that. Signing off for Bison Plus, this is Brett Apgar. Hey, <laughs> Today we are playing a trivia game for National Bison Day. What is the name of the school mascot? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um, is it like Billy? <laughs> <laughs> Henry? <laughs> Eddie? <laughs> Belly? <laughs> All right, next Bucky. Bucky. <laughs> Bailey? <Bailey. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Billy. <laughs> Wait, Bailey, Bailey, Bailey. Yes. Why is our mascot named Bailey? Because of Bailey Road. Oh! <laughs> oh. 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 Cool. Next question. What is the color of a bison's tongue? Pink. Black. Pink. Brown, brown. No. Gr it's gray. It's gray. Gray? No. Black. No. <laughs> Pink? No. Purple? No. no. Gray? No. Brown? No. Brown? No. Wait. Yellow? No. White? No. What? Of a bison's tongue. The answer to that question was orange red. What in the dick of Douglas? <laughs> How high can a bison jump? Really, really high. <laughs> <laughs> 60 kilometers. I mean, kil kilometers. It can't. 10 feet. No. It can't jump. Uh, don't smash it if you don't know what you're going to say. Never mind. It's 6 feet. I, I was, I was supposed to say it. What is a baby bison called? A, a bison. A calf. Sorry. Cubs. <laughs> Cubs. <laughs> Buffaloes. <laughs> no, that's a whole different answer. Calf. There you go. Leave me alone. I actually don't know. <laughs> uh, a calf or a calf? Yeah. yeah. Jillian Speed, Riley Norwalk, and Elena Witzke. Yeah!
Oh. Yeah. Signing off, this is Brad Miller. Carson Gatenby. Peyton Miller. Ben Johnson. Today is National Nacho Day, and we have some trivia questions to see which of our Bison Plus staff members knows the most about their nachos. Who is the creator of nachos? A. Carmen Rocha. B. Ignacio Anaya. Or C. Frank Liberto. I think it was Ignacio. Choice number B. 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 Frank. I'm gonna have to say, uh, C. Incorrect, it was B. Where were nachos created? A. Mexico. B. Colombia. Or C. Brazil. A. Mexico. Colombia. I think nachos were created in Mexico. C. Brazil. Incorrect, it was A. I was close enough. How much did the biggest platter of nachos ever made weigh? A, 1,387 pounds, B, 4,239 pounds, or C, 4,689 pounds? D, 4,689 pounds. D. That wasn't an option. <laughs> I think it was A. I'm gonna have to go with B. Okay, guess again. B. <laughs> Incorrect, it was C. Oh. When were nachos created? A, 1941, B, 1979, or C, 2004? Uh, A. A. Correct. A. B. Let's go with 1940. Correct. Ah. <laughs>